Since generations, our ancestors have always believed that nature and humans are not separate. They believe that nature is always stronger than us. One can have no ego with nature. If you challenge nature, you are asking for trouble. The Idumishmi's lives are profoundly shaped by rituals, myths, and taboos. One such taboo related to hunting, known as Iyuana, under which there are rules, restrictions, and rituals which are to be followed strictly to avoid misfortunes. One such taboo applies to tiger, the apex predator. Hunting has always been a big part of Idu's life. When a hunter goes into the forest, he prays to the spirit that he may be the first to spot the prey and not the other way around. Killing of tiger is regarded ominous in Idumishmi community. A tiger can only be killed in self-defense or if one has turned into a man-eater. If a tiger is killed, the hunter and the whole village have to follow Iyu Anna, during which they follow a five days rituals that has lots of restrictions. It is believed that violation of EU Anna brings misfortunes not just to the hunter but to all his kin. And this hunter decides to conceal his mishap and moves on with his daily life. But soon misfortune befalls. Struck with misfortune, he decides to seek intervention of Igu. The ego with his psychic power learns the reason for all his misfortune and cautions him. Hunter then confesses ego of his mishap with the tiger and how he did not follow EU Anna.
taboos that restrict hunting and forest use are widely present in Idumismi community. These taboos require people to think twice about hunting and they are not taken lightly. So, under this seemingly simple idea, there lies profound philosophical principle of ecological balance. Idu taboos and shows that people understand that human well-being is inextricably linked to restrictive hunting, which in some way has contributed to biodiversity protection, including endangered species like tiger, Hologibbon, Red Panda, Mishmitakin, Barking Tears, and many more. As our respected Igu Sipamelo has rightly said, There is no God bigger than the sun, the moon, the air, and the water. No matter how tall our buildings get and how high in the sky we fly, if we don't respect nature, then it won't respect us either. <laughs>